How is it going today, my friends? As always, I hope you all are having yourselves a fantastic day. If any of you are a clan leader or something like that on YouTube, just like a trickshotting clan, a sniping clan, something like that, or if you're just anyone in this community, I'm sure you know what promotions are. If not, if someone is selling promotions, they'll say that they'll sell you a friend request. They say that they will like basically, uh, if you pay them, they'll like your videos for your clan or like your YouTube videos and comment them on stuff like that. Basically, you're paying them to promote you or paying them to have them on your friends list. You want my advice? Never, ever, 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 ever buy promotions. If you buy a friend request, they can delete you at absolutely any time. Wanna know why they can delete you at any time? Because you signed no contract saying that they couldn't. You gave them money for a friend request, they gave you a friend request, and they can literally just delete you immediately if they want to. And then some people will like sell sub box spots, they'll put your clan's YouTube in their sub box. It's all bullshit. It's all barely gonna help you. Don't waste your money. And this brings me to the people who can't even promote you, the people who sell say they're selling promotions, but they're not even a part of Soar, Red, or FaZe. There have been people in Obey, Soar, and Red who sell promotions. They are real players who do this because they don't make any money off their YouTube channels because they don't spend any time uploading YouTube videos. So they want to make a quick 20 bucks off of some fan who wants to add them. And in my opinion, that's a really scummy way to make money, but you know, people will do whatever the hell they want to do. I don't care about how I play right now, so I'm just going to play Team Deathmatch so there's some Call of Duty in the background. If you ever see a Twitter with the name FaZe in it, if they say they're a business manager, if they say that they're a former player. There is a roster on the FaZe Clan YouTube. If you go to the About Me section of the FaZe Clan YouTube, there is a roster. Those are all of the people associated with FaZe. If someone says that they are a former FaZe, all of the people who were formerly in FaZe, they have taken FaZe out of their Twitters, they have taken FaZe out of everything. So if you see someone who says they're former FaZe on Twitter, they are a fanboy. The same thing goes for any Red, Soar, or Obey member. If they say that they are a part of Obey, Red, or Soar, go to the About Me section of the YouTube channel of that clan. Check the roster. If that name is not there, they are a fanboy. I need you guys to do me a favor. If you see these Twitters, all they do is post fake giveaways because all they want is favorites and retweets. They're really easy to spot. If you see these Twitters, call them out. And if you see people tweeting at these Twitters, acting like they're real, let them know that they're fake because people are really going around believing that these guys are actually part of like Red or like our former phase. And that's why they believe them. And that's why they give them their money. So if you can message the people who are messaging these Twitters, Twitter is acting like they're real and warn them so that they don't get scammed. Don't pay for promotions. It's not worth it. If you're going to get big on YouTube, you're going to get big on YouTube. Some dude who's trying to make money a scummy way isn't going to help you get big on YouTube, I promise. Because there is honestly so many FaZe fanboy Twitters, Red fanboy Twitters, Soar fanboy Twitters, and they all have a shit ton of followers because they're botted and they all follow a shit ton of people and they're just fake accounts. I DM this one guy who has 40,000 followers and like uh, follows 40,000 people. He basically tweets stuff because all he wants to do is get interactions, he tweets fake giveaways, all that kind of stuff. And I DM'd him calling his account an eyesore, you know, just trying to be truthful with the guy, just letting him know his account is fucking terrible. And you know what he does? He goes, you know what's an eyesore? The pimples on your face. Yeah, you don't think I fucking know that? You think I like having a red dot in between my fucking eyes? It makes make me feel better about it, you fucking pussy. I know he's not a good looking fellow. People like that would never show their face to the internet, but you know, he's just trying to make me feel bad. It kind of worked, man. He really hurt my feelings. Nobody's ever made fun of my appearance before. I'm just kidding. So many people have called me ugly. I don't give a fuck. It's the internet. If you're going to call me ugly without showing me a picture of you first, I'm going to assume you're ugly too. At least we're ugly together. JK, I'm beautiful and I know it. After he messaged me, I blocked him because I tried to message him back and he said, you can no longer send direct messages to this dude. He made it so that if you're not following him, you can't direct message him or if he's not following you, you can't direct message him. I don't know. Just He made it so I couldn't direct message him without him blocking me. So I'm like, wow, you're going to say something like that? not even let me respond with uh oh yeah where's a picture of your face buddy he just made it so i couldn't respond to him so i blocked him and then he tweets out oh yeah get wrecked bitch just block me after i fuck you up it's like i, I couldn't even respond dude once again he only posted that to get retweets and favorites if you see any twitter with sore in their name a sore logo with a shit ton of followers and they follow a crazy amount of people most real sore red and phase members they only follow a couple hundred people if it's in the couple thousands probably a fanboy if you see these twitters you got to make sure to call them out make sure to tweet at the people who actually think they're real, let them know, hey, that's a fanboy. You're not going to win anything from the giveaway. You're not going to get a PS4 brand new for $90. It's a scam. I know a lot of you probably already know not to buy promotions, not to buy friend requests, and you probably already know that most of these Twitters are fanboys. But if there's just a few people that didn't know this, and if there's just a few people that I could help, you know, save some money, if I could help just a few people not get scammed, then it's worth talking about it. Also, in regards to everything I was saying in yesterday's video about my tree possibly falling, 
falling over. The two trees that fell over in my parents' yard 10 years ago were not oak trees. I seem to remember my mom telling me that a while ago. I think I just forgot. They weren't oaks that fell, they were fiscus trees. Your tree has weathered many storms. This category three isn't gonna knock it over. That makes me feel a lot better. But then again, in yesterday's video, I was totally acting like that tree was gonna fall on me. Oh well, just like in yesterday's video, I don't know what clips you're about to see right now. I haven't yet decided or picked them for the video. Whatever they are, hopefully you enjoy them. If you do, make sure to tip your waiter and let's roll these random motherfuckers. Oh! I just hit marker first try! I just hit marker first try! No fucking way! No, you didn't. No, no way! They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Oh, I hit Margaret in another KHT trick shot. I hit my life. This time it was a suicide and it was far. No. Thank you all so much for taking the time to watch today's video. If you could leave a thumbs up to let me know that you enjoyed the video, you know I'd appreciate that very much. And as always, my friends, I hope you all have a fantastic day. A farewell, a goodbye. And here comes that motherfucking. Woo! <laughs>